A bipartisan group of senators targeting deep fake revenge pornography with new legislation. The Take It Down Act would establish a national standard to protect and empower victims, mainly women. Our next guest was targeted by an AI revenge porn scheme at her high school when she was just 14 years old. Her name is Elliston Berry. She joins us now along with her mother, Anna McAdams, and of course, you know, Senator Ted Cruz. Thank you all for being here. So tell me what happened to you, Elliston. You were a freshman in high school. You live in the Fort Worth area of Texas. So excited to go to high school. And what happened? I had woken up on a Monday morning with numerous calls from my friends just telling me that these fake AI photos were going around. So someone took a picture off of your social media. Nine of your friends were in the picture. And that person took all your clothes off in the picture and put fake naked bodies up. Yes. How did that make you feel? It was terrifying. I felt it was all out of my control and I just felt helpless. Mom, she comes into your room. What happened? Crying. Um, it was devastating. I mean, as a mom, all you want to do is protect your child. Mm -hmm. And so there was no way for me to foresee anything like this ever happening. So we were totally outside of our element as we were trying to figure out what we do with this. What, what do you do? You just, well, we went to the school board, to the mm -hmm. school, to the police. We took it there first, trying mm -hmm. to see if we could get some, some help there that way. Not knowing who it was, there was little they could do. He didn't do it on school time, mm -hmm. so they didn't, school wasn't able to track who it was at the, mm -hmm. at the time when they first started. And time so, is of the essence, because you know yeah. these teenage boys are probably passing this picture around very quickly, and mm -hmm. it looked real. It looked like y'all really were naked. What happened yes. to the per Did you find out who did it, and what happened to that person? Yes, we found out around four months later officially but he had take, been taken out of school with suspension and he was told that he could come back but his parents had taken him out wow okay senator you're trying to prevent this from happening yeah. to other girls because it's not, yeah. this is not the only story it's happening a lot right 99 percent of the deep fakes are non-consensual and 99 percent 96 are non-consensual 99 percent are women yeah no no it, it, it's a horrific problem and it's exploding we're seeing thousands and thousands of deep fakes and, and, and they almost all target women and, and target teenage girls. Uh, just yesterday when we announced this legislation we were joined by another mom from New Jersey whose, whose daughter Francesca had almost the exact same thing happen to her. She was 14 also, same thing, a picture from social media, boys in the class altered it and, and with technology now when it's altered you can't tell it's altered. You think it's real, you can get a photograph, you can get a video. And, and produce a d deep fake video that people think is real. And it's a horrific violation of privacy. It's intended to be incredibly hurtful. Yeah. And, 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 and we've got to stop it. And I'll tell you, by the way, the mom in New Jersey told us the boys are still in the school, that they face no consequence. Oh my gosh. Uh, and, and so yesterday what we did is we rolled out bipartisan legislation called the Take It Down Act. And it does two things. It says, number one, if you post or share non-consensual intimate images, either real images or deep fakes, that it's a crime, it's a felony, punishable by up to two years in prison if the victim is an adult and up to three years in prison if the victim is a child. And then secondly, and this is a really important piece of it, it puts an obligation on the big tech companies that if you're notified by a victim or the victim's family, mm -hmm. they have 48 hours to take the pictures down and to take all the copies down because mm -hmm. After the initial victimization, over and over again, people get trapped mm -hmm. where, you know, Anna spent months calling Snapchat saying, take this down, take this down, take this down. And, and, and they just, it, it's like talking to a bureaucratic wall. Right. They tell the victims, if you happen to be Taylor Swift, if you're a global superstar, you can get this content taken down. But, but if you're a teenager in America, big tech ignores you and that's wrong. How long did it take for that picture to come down? Um, eight and a half months. What? So it could yeah. be some creepy teenager could have s screenshotted that and it could come out when you're older and you're a mom or you're when you're applying for a job and they don't know it's fake. Exactly. Right. My goodness, thank you so much for doing this. So it was, when you're in a relationship, if you, you shouldn't do it, but some people do, they share right. naked images of each yep. other, then they break up, then someone sends it, then it gets exposed, and this is a totally different thing. This is a new level with AI. Yeah. Anyone can be a victim, and, and it's sadly, there are apps that you can take any picture of any person and create images or videos that you cannot tell are fake, and, and, and it's an ability to target 
you know, and, and, and the victims get, get traumatized over and over and over again as these things are shared. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll tell you how Elliston and Anna got it down, which is last week when they came and sat down in my office, I, I asked then, I said, are the images still up? And they said, yes. I said, all right, that's ridiculous. I turned to my team, I said, get on the phone with Snapchat right now. And if need be, I said, put me on the phone with the CEO. We're gonna get this image down. Within minutes, they pulled it down. They know how to pull them down. Yeah. But you it know, it's a powerful person to call. Yes. It shouldn't take a, a sitting member of Congress picking up the phone right. to get these images down. And there's actually a model. So big tech knows how to do this. So, mm -hmm. so for copyrighted material, if you put up on social media a scene from The Lion King, if you put up a George Strait song, that'll get pulled down within minutes because they're not allowed to post copyrighted material. They know how to pull it down. What this does is extend the same thing to protect yeah. victims and to say don't participate in victimizing young people or, or yeah. women or anyone. And it also punishes the person who did it. Yes, that exactly. That way his record will be expunged at 18, but under this bill he could face jail time. Yes. So thank you so much for doing this. Thanks yes. for sharing your story. Thanks I'm so sorry that happened to you.